Welcome back to my YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to show you the clean girl look also known as the no makeup look. So I follow this 5 minute makeup routine for every day because I don't get the time in between my meetings, virtual sessions and personal shopping with clients but I want to look neat and put together. So I'm going to show you that how you can create your own clean girl look and these are the steps I follow. So let's get started. So this is my first step. I like to hydrate and moisturize my skin before I start my makeup to create a flawless base. Once your skin is hydrated and moisturized, trust me, your makeup looks even neater. I'm going to take a small quantity and apply it all over my face evenly. I have dry skin, so I use a moisturizer which really works well for my skin. Even if you have oily skin, I'll always recommend never to skip this step and use a moisturizer that works well for your skin type. And ta-da! And I never miss this step. I like to hydrate my lips as well so that they don't look chapped during the day. Always keep a lip balm handy so even if you feel that your lips are looking more dehydrated during the day, you can always reapply your lip balm. Next step, prime your face. Primer is very essential because it makes sure that your makeup stays for longer and it also creates a neat surface between your makeup and your skin. Apply your primer just how you will apply your moisturizer all over your face. Don't forget to cover your under eyes, the side of your nose and lips. Now I start with concealing my under eye or any other pigmented area. So I'm going to start by concealing my under eyes, little bit around my mouth and very little on my forehead. Use concealer wherever you feel that there is pigmentation. So let's start with my under eye. I don't use a lot of quantity because I want to keep my makeup neat but at the same time I make sure that my pigmentation is concealed. I'm going to apply very little on my forehead and it's very common for us Indians to have little bit pigmentations on our forehead. Also I don't want to apply a lot of um, the concealer because I'm also going to apply very little foundation so it will also take care if there is any pigmentation which is left. Now let's blend this. Remember blending is the key. Always remember to blend it neatly and give it a little time before you get used to blending. And I've re recently started using the brush for concealing and I'm absolutely in love with what it does. It makes sure it conceals and creates a very airbrush kind of look even for every day. Now you might take some time to get used to blending but once you do it, trust me, you will ace the game. Now let's go to the next step, foundation. Now some days you can skip this step but mostly keep this to create that absolutely clean girl look. I'm using another favorite, NARS in the shade Barcelona. For Indians mostly it's either Barcelona or Colored Punjab that works the best. Barcelona works the best for my skin. And it also has a little bit luminous effect so it creates a very glossy effect. So let's go blend it. I'm using this another brush by Hourglass. Again, it's beautiful and one of my most favorites. So let's go blend it in. I am using the product directly from my hand and this gives a more natural effect than putting the foundation directly on your face. Also this brush is very magical. I love how it creates this neat and very very airbrush kind of look. I've always been very fond of blenders but ever since I found this, there's no looking back. These are called kabuki brushes, that's what they call I guess but don't use a lot of quantity 
depending on the kind of foundation you have full coverage or a medium coverage take the quantity accordingly so that it gives that neat look and not very cakey and it's blended i make sure i just take it all to my neck the side of my nose little bit to my ears so that it all looks a little natural i love the way it creates this very neat and the subtle effect it just so glossy and another thing that i have realized is that it really stays unlike some other foundations or the effect that blender gives it actually transfer to the clothes i have fallen in love with this okay let's go to the next step we really need to set our foundation so that it stays for longer through the day for my meetings for my shopping and i look flawless so i've taken some product in the brush and i always make sure i remove the excess and then i take it all over my face and set my makeup my under eyes are really sensitive and they can crease really easily because of my dry skin so i don't mind taking a little bit extra because it doesn't create that cakey effect it's called um it's called the hourglass whale and it's known to be one of the best in the market however i also like mac and bobby brown's translucent powders you can try your hands on whatever works for you the best so i'm going to leave it for a while maybe few seconds and we are good to go now i'm going to quickly apply some color on my eyes i'm using this semi sweet chocolate bar by too faced because we're going for the clean girl makeup i don't want to add some colors or do any smoky eye let's keep it natural and just blend in very little color for that easy and everyday effect let's do the brows and we don't have to really create a stocking brows i just need to make sure that they look even because you might have applied some foundation while you were blending it i'm just going to use this tip and just make sure that my eyebrows look even not only that it also make sure the eyebrows stay in the place it also acts like a gel always use a brown color don't go for blacks they can make your look very harsh so we're keeping it simple and clean and that's it and you will instantly see a difference in your entire look you can build the product so you can go apply as much as you want but keep it subtle because we are going for like the clean girl look and it's blush time it's really a pretty kind of a pink doesn't make your look very harsh but creates a natural flush i've again taken it on my hand and i'm just going to go ahead and put it on my cheeks you can use a brush to blend it or you can also use your blush brush and just blend it always make sure you only apply the pink bit on your cheek i'll give you another tip smile like it's no one's business and blend this will ensure that it's highlighting your cheekbone and it's not going to any other area and take it up to the temple and we are good to go i applied a very small quantity right here on my nose for that natural blush effect i'm not going to use any kind of contouring or create any kind of drama because we're going for a very everyday look and i need to finish this look in 5 minutes every day now i'm going to go ahead and use mascara i'm using this by milk again it's a waterproof mascara because i don't want raccoon eyes by the end of the day and make sure you remove the excess product otherwise it will make your eyelashes clamped let's go i like to use two coats 
I have almond shaped eyes and when I use a lot of mascara it reinforces that and that I really enjoy. All right. Can you really see the difference between the two eyes? This is what it does. So don't be afraid to use mascara and create that natural glam. And now it's time to color those lips. For a clean girl look, I prefer using pinks. I am a pink girl when it comes to my lipsticks. I like to use more pink nudes and honestly for every day I feel like pinks work better than the maroons and your reds. Keep them for your parties but when you're going for more of a clean and a neat and an everyday look, stick to your pinks. Let's go. I have safely and neatly applied my lipstick. We're almost done. All we need to do is set this makeup. But before that, I'm going to tie my hair because that's what looking neat is all about. A neat hairdo. You can leave your hair how you want. I just like to keep my hair in a particular manner to kind of make sure that the look is absolutely neat and complete. Now we're done. But before I apply my setting spray, I'm going to take my fluffy brush and run it through my face. So if there's any line or anything which is undone can be taken care of and it looks absolutely neat. I'm using this brush by Pack. It's number 264. It's easily available everywhere. But before I go, I'm going to set my makeup because I honestly want it to last through the day. And I'm using again Hourglass, it's called Whale. It's very soft focus. Let's just make sure we spray it well. And I'm going to let it dry. And we are done. This is how easy it is to create your clean girl's makeup look. And trust me, once you start practicing it, it will not take more than five to six minutes to do your everyday makeup. Thank you for watching my video. And for a step-by-step -step guide, check the description below. Do not forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon. Until then, remember, style is for everyone and yours is within you. This is Ashita Saluja, your style partner, signing off.